Happy Thursday, first graders. Miss Christian back to do today's read aloud. And in today's read aloud, we're going to be reading Camp K-9. The author of this book is Marianne Rodman. The illustrator is Nancy Hayashi. So I hope you have a comfortable place to sit. You have both ears open. You have your eyes focused on the screen. Let's get started with today's read aloud. Camp K-9. We're Camp K-9 pups, and we're the best, howled the dogs in the bus, all except me. I have a secret to guard. It's in my pooch pouch, safe in my lap. A pug pokes her head over my seat. My name's Pearl. What's yours? Roxy, I say. Have you been to camp before? Pearl asks. No. Me neither, says Pearl. You think we'll get homesick? I shrug, and Pearl disappears. Too bad. She sounded friendly. But being friends means sharing secrets, and I can't share mine. When no one is looking, I sniff the pouch, my secret inside, my blankie. Wherever I go, my blankie goes too. It makes me feel better when I'm worried or sad. Wow. I also have something that I use or that I hold whenever I get sad. I'm pretty sure some of you have seen it during our morning meetings. I have my stuffed rabbit, Andrew. I use, uh, I use Andrew whenever I feel down, whenever maybe I'm feeling sick too. I hold him tight and he keeps me comfortable. What's something that you have that that makes you happy or that helps you whenever you're feeling sad or you're feeling another type of lonely feeling. What's something that you have? Is it a blankie? Is it a stuffed animal? It could be a toy of some sorts. But keep using whatever, whatever item you have that helps you make you feel comfortable and makes you feel happier. Let's continue reading. A gigantic poodle leans over the aisle. What's in the bag? She growls. Nothing, I snap. I want my blankie. I want it right now. But not while that poodle's staring at me. The bus stops. Camp K-9, barks the driver. All off for Camp K-9. A collie with a whistle and clipboard trots towards us. Roxy? Pearl? I'm your counselor, Buffy, she says. Let's go to our cabin. We call it the Mutt Hut. As we hike to the Mutt Hut, I look for that poodle. She's nowhere in sight. Good. The campers in the Mutt Hut seem like nice pups. Kia and Rudy, Sophie and Bea, Hazel and Pearl. But what would they say if they saw my blankie? Bam! A big poodle paw whams open the door. I'm Lacey, she snarls. Her pooch pouch and bedroll land on my bunk. That's mine, I tell her. Mine now, Lacey sneers. I want my blankie. I want it right now. Oh no, I think that Pluto maybe is being unkind to everybody. We'll see what happens. Chow time, says our counselor, Buffy. Lacey, put your pouch under the bench. Lacey doesn't. When she grabs for the steak crumbles, the pouch knocks Pearl's dessert onto the floor. My favorite, Pearl whimpers. Pork putting with liver snaps. Sorry, says Lacey, but I know she's not. After snooze time, it's pond time. We pair up for splash pals. My pal is Lacey. And her pooch pouch. I want my blankie. 
I want it right now. Uh oh, they both fell into the water. Oh no. At night, we have campfire. We sing 99 buckets of bones on the wall. Buffy tells us a spooky story called The Haunted Mail Truck. Then, just as she gets to the scariest part, oh! Oh! Something terrible howls in the dark. What do you think that is, scholars? What type of animal makes that oh! sound? find out what it is oh <laughs> Lacey jumps out from behind a tree gotcha she laughs you big scaredy cats I was Lacey the whole time I thought it was gonna be an actual wolf nobody calls me a cat snaps Kia me neither growls Bea take it back demands Pearl make me says Lucy nobody does bedtime barks buffy to the mud hut double time trot i pan to keep up with lacy's long legs leading the pack i wish that poodle had gone to some other camp when everyone's sleeping i sneak out my blankie ah <sighs> just one little sniff and the sun's in my eyes. Morning? Oh no! I hide blankie under my pillow. Today is worse than yesterday. Lacey makes trouble all morning long. We go for a dog trot. Hazel trips over Lacey's pooch pouch. Sorry, says Lacey. L Sorry, let me read that one more time. Sorry, says Lucy. But I know she's not. I built a bone box in barks and craps. Clunk, crash, splash. Sorry, says Lacey. But I know she's not. I guess uh, that poodle Lacey is doing this on purpose. And it's not only affecting one dog, it's affecting almost everyone in the camp. What do you think her behavior is called, scholars? Whenever you're mean to people, whenever you do things that makes them uncomfortable or you hurt their feelings, not only just one time, but like on an everyday basis, you make fun of them. What is that called? We've heard of this word before in school, whenever we do second step. What is it called? If your guess is bullying, then you're right. I definitely see what the poodle Lacey's doing is she's bullying all the other canine campers. And she's not being really sorry with her behavior. Next, we have game time. We play Shoo Choo and Bone Burry, Frisbee and Fetch. I wish Lacey would pack up her pooch pouch and dot trot on home. Soon, it's pup paddle time. We race to the pond. When Buffy counts us at the dock, we're missing a nose. Where's Lacey? She asks. Nobody knows. Nobody cares. We have to find Lacey, says Buffy. We grumbled and growl our way through the woods. We're missing pond time because of a mean old Lacey. Look at their faces. They don't look so happy that they have to find Lacey. She's not in the woods or the chow hall, or the craft shed. To the mutt hut, Buffy orders. 
And there we find Lacey sprawled on her bunk with a blankie, I howl. She's got a blankie. Now I can get even. I can laugh and call her a scary cat. So what, snarls Lacey, but her nose quivers. Her tail twitches. Wait a minute. She's scared. She's not really mean. She was just hiding her blankie, like me. I take a deep breath. I know what I have to do. I ease Blanky out from under my pillow. I wait for the others to laugh. They don't. I have a Blanky, barks Bea. She digs in her pooch pouch and pulls out a pink one. Me too, squeaks Sophie. So do I, wheezes Pearl. We all have Blankies. No more secrets. Now we can all be friends. To the pond, orders Buffy. Double trot time. Buffy counts noses. Kia and Rudy. Sophie and Bea. Hazel and Pearl. And me and my new pal, Lacey. We are Camp Canine Pups. And we're the best north or south or east or west. Best friends rock both night and day. Camp Canine Pups, yip yip, hooray! Well, I like how that ending changed. I thought that they were going to have to talk to Lacey about her behavior and how she treated the other campers, but the whole time she was scared. She was scared to share that she had her blankie, but Everybody else was able to also share that they had a blankie and everyone was okay with it. And sometimes, you know, we, we have those feelings where we don't want to share some things with other people because we're scared to think what they may say to us. And sometimes we say unkind things to people because we're trying to hide away our feelings of being scared and nervous. But just remember that you being honest and you sharing how you feel with other people um, is, is important, right? And it's okay to have those feelings of being scared. But if you have something that makes you comfortable, like a blankie or a toy or a stuffed animal, or it could be someone in your household that you can go to whenever you feel sad or you're feeling down or, or when you're feeling sick, it's important to have something that you can hold or that you can talk to or play with that makes you happy. So first graders, well, I hope you enjoyed this read aloud. I will see you tomorrow for tomorrow's read aloud. Enjoy the rest of your day.